Well, I got all five far side galleries. They were uh, they were on sale at a, uh, a Barnes and Noble, um, and uh, I didn't have any of them. And uh, they there was a bargain table, and uh, they were all on there for a pretty low price. And um, pretty soon, I just went a little nuts, and I couldn't. Uh, I wanted to get them, and I couldn't decide which to get. So I decided to get all of them. Uh, so uh, yeah, these were uh, a highlight of my uh, house growing up. My dad uh, liked them a lot, and uh, I would read them. And I think he, I don't remember him having uh, number five, but I do remember him having uh, one through four. So uh, the first one, uh, this was put out in uh, November of 84, featuring comics from uh, 82 to 84. And the forward of that is just Gary Larson himself talking about how uh, a, a bit of his inspiration and background about how uh, when he was young, he would always fear the basement, and then his uh, older brother would uh, lock him in the basement uh, with the lights off. Um, Number two, uh, this was put out in October of 86, uh, cartoons from, uh, printed 85 to 87. This one had a, uh, uh, has a forward by Stephen King, who uh, said that in the 80s there was a golden age of comics, and uh, mentioned a few different cartoonists, and that uh, while several of them are unique, uh, Gary Larson is uniquely unique and uh, a pretty short introduction and then Far Side Gallery 3 the uh, the forward is by Stephen Jay Gould who said that uh, a lot of his he was wondering why uh, how he could uh, give an introduction um, but he said that a lot of uh, other scientists have have Far Side cartoons uh, you know, on their door or somewhere displayed, and uh, it's almost a pretty uh, telling thing for a scientist w which far side uh, to choose. Uh, and then he went on to somewhat categorize all the uh, the different kind of far sides and put them into not necessarily a hierarchy of kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, but into uh, just five different categories um, and then examples of each uh, pretty detailed and in, 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 in uh, a longer forward that was amusing uh, far side gallery four the first one to have uh, to have a few color cartoons in it uh, and the forward by this is Robin Williams and he says that the uh, he sees uh, Gary Larson as somewhat of a, a mad scientist. He says that a lot of uh, cartoonists are might be a bit odd, but Gary Larson is the best of a weird breed. And then uh, I talked a little bit about how he portrays humans and that uh, if anyone uses these as anthropological uh, documents um, on the human race, they might think that all humans look like uh, the humans in in far side um, and perhaps we will evolve to look like that uh, that one uh, number three was October 88 uh, with comics printed 87 89 this was from October of 93 um, uh, cartoons from 90 and 92 and finally is uh, Farside Gallery number five, put out in September of 95. Uh, cartoons printed from 92 to 94, also color, uh, some color ones. Um, and this one has a, uh, a large, nice forward by Jane Goodall. Now, Jane Goodall had a bit of a mini commotion as she explains um, that uh, some people with, with her project weren't happy with uh, 
a, a far side cartoon that, that mentioned Jane Goodall and they even were talking of lawsuits and then when Jane Goodall finally saw it she thought it was very funny and felt uh, flattered and honored to be in a far side cartoon and uh, didn't you know thought it was nice and and didn't want any kind of lawsuit or any kind of commotion uh, so she talks about that and then she talks about how Gary Larson and his wife came to visit her in, uh, in Gombe and uh, some stories from that and uh, also how uh, teachers use him to uh, con convey uh, lessons and then finally she mentioned at the very end that Gary Larson was retiring and uh, she mentioned that at the very end so and he did retire after this and uh, and also there was a dedication in this one by Gary Larson himself to his older brother Dan and who said that he was a, a large inspiration for his sense of humor and even uh, he, he drew a funny cartoon of what a uh, what Farsight might look like w without his his brother's influence on his sense of humor which was uh, nowhere near uh, a Farsight cartoon.